Kevin Romer, Application Engineer from Avantech. I'm going to talk about installing Indosoft Web Studio on an Avantech ARM processor platform. I'm going to use the TPC31 as an example. You're going to need to copy files from our FTP server at advantechdownloads.com, Software Development, Indosoft Web Studio 7.1, Source Pack 1, CE, ARM 4i. You also need an SD card reader and an SD card and a logical network connection to the device from your development system. So let's go to the FTP server. Software development. Inosoft Web Studio 7.1.1 CE ARM 4i Now we're going to copy the startup folder over to the SD card. And we're going to copy the studio folder over the SD card. Okay. Minimize these. I'm going to open the Vantech Diag Anywhere utility. It's not required, but it helps display what's going on here. So I have a connection already to the TPC31. I'm going to remove the SD card and I'm going to place it into the TPC31. I'm going to open up my device. I'm going to go to the storage card. The storage card is the folder name that gets assigned to the SD card. I'm going to copy the startup folder. Open up hard disk. I'm going to paste it here. Now notice there's already a startup folder, so I'm just going to say yes to merge the files. Okay, so inside the hard disk startup, you should see a file called 600.studio. This is a batch file that will automatically launch the Indosoft Web Studio. At this point, we've already made the TPC31 what we call an Indusoft ready system. It's designed to automatically take in any Indusoft version that you want to put on the system. I'm going to reboot the system now so you can see it come up. Okay, system's rebooted. It's going to come up with this message if you want to enable security. We're not going to do that now. We're going to select no. It's going to ask you, do you want to suppress the message on the next startup? We're going to say yes. Okay. Now the system is ready to receive any Indosoft version we want to put down on the system. So now I'm going to open up the Indosoft development environment and I'm going to connect to this system. The IP address is here, 10.0.0.2. So we're going to open up Indosoft. I'm going to create a new project. I'm just going to call it uh, TPC31 IWS. I'm going to select the Windows Embedded Light. I'm going to change the resolution to 320 by 240, which is what the TPC31 is. And select OK. I'm going to create a screen. Right click, insert, and call it main. I'm going to drop some text on there. I'm going to save the screen as a main. Now we're going to set main to start up automatically. So I'm going to go to project, options, viewer. I'm going to change this drop down to main and click OK on that. Now we've created a project and set up a basic screen. Let's go to the Home tab and under Remote Management, I'm going to select Connect and type in the IP address of the TPC. Click Connect. It's going to come up with the same message we had before. We want to connect, yes. We Unsecure the connection, 
Yes. Now it's going to say the version of development that we have is newer than the one that's on the system. And technically, there isn't anything on the system right now. It's just version 1.0 is what it's going to say. So let's just select OK on that. OK. Uncheck only newer files and click Install System Files. Now this will take some time. Now what this is doing is actually installing into Software Web Studio on the TPC now. Okay, and your stuff is now installed in the system. Let's go to the project and put the project on there. Uncheck all your files and click download. This will only take a second. Next, let's license the system. Click on embed license. What you see here is a site code. You need to email your software serial number and this site code to license at endosoft.com. like so. You will get a site key back. We need to copy the site key. Put the site key here. Click send. Now the system is licensed. So we can come back here. Now disconnect. Click OK. Now what we need to do is save the registry on the system. So go to Start, Programs, Vantech, Registry Saver. This will save the license on the system. Click OK. Now let's reboot the system. Okay, the system is booting up. Okay, here's our project. The system is now installed and licensed and ready to go. That's it.